tell me about this because now when you're an independent now. Yeah. So what does that say? That to me it says that you think the Republican Party is unsavable. Unsavable. Oh, no doubt about it. Because otherwise you would want to stay on, right, and right. reform it, but you think it's it can't be saved. It cannot be saved. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's the craziest thing in the world because Again, talking about us, and when I first came here, I remember you were the only guy that would actually defend conservatives. Somebody attacked me on my first show here, right. I think, um, called me a bigot and a racist because right. I was a Republican from the South, a conservative, uh, and you defended me. And I said, it was very nice, you know, somebody defending somebody because they're conservative. I used to get attacked by liberals because I was a conservative. Now I'm getting attacked by people who voted for a fascist because I'm a conservative. And that's, you know, my friends and my family members, they all voted for him. And it's, it's been hard for me to sort of process it. But the only way I've, I, I've been able to come to terms with it is, you know, they're not fascists, but no. they voted for an ignorant man who is a fascist. I don't understand why. I've seen focus groups over the past couple of days of Trump voters who still would support him, who say things like, I like Donald Trump because of where he stands. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> On the issues. Now you tell me, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what, 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 what does he, what issues? But what, what issues, what issues does this guy share with conservatives, it's, it, biggest, he left with the biggest well, deficits I, I, ever, <clears throat> the biggest debt ever. He undercut all of our allies, all of all of the allies that Reagan championed. He he embraced Russia. I he know, but he's gone, Joe. No, no. I'm, Why I'm, are we still talking about because him? Because seventy-five yeah. million people, and I've got to say, all of my people, <clears throat> my tribe, they voted for him. So when. When I see these focus groups, I feel like it's at, you'll remember this movie, because you remember Chico Marx. There was this late 60s movie called Journey to the Other Side of the Sun. Yeah. Where everybody looked the same, but everything was opposite. And so when I see focus groups with Trump supporters, I'm like, yeah, that's, they all voted for me. And the strangest things come out of their mouth. Well,